Hello, hello, Forex here with another two hour game. So, we'll see how far we get into Broken Age two hours. How is everybody? Good to be on stream. I've actually been looking forward to this one. No, continue because I've never played. Hey, Crystal, how you doing? So Broken Age is a um, a puzzle game where you walk around and work out the things. Very similar to games like uh, Broken Sword back in the day. Um, a little bit of a weird story and I only got through halfway because I think when I played it was years and years ago. And it was like part one and yeah. We'll see if I've got the full thing now. Very unusual game. Hey Ruby. Okay, so you get two people. You've got two people that you've got to try and see their story and work things out. I don't know if they ever meet. I don't think they will, but I don't know because I didn't play the game through. Um, you get to choose the boy or the girl to start off with. So the way I played it, I felt like it was more interesting to pick the boy first. So we're going to go with the boy. Ooh. Hey, rise and shine, son. You better get up. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's going to be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops, here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer, snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tingle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, Gross. <laughs> Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. <laughs> this is very strange. Choco Rockets? Yikes, no way. Sure, what difference does it make? Yikes, no way. Simmons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nebulumps. Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. Gross. That sounds nasty. All the breakfast cereals nasty sounding. No, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Man, that sounds horrible. Brain blasters? Ugh, take that away. Strawberry comet trails. Ew. Right. Don't take this. Sure got a lot of a lot of choice. Whole green nutrient paste. Are you kidding? Gross. <laughs> 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 Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splarg? Splarg? Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splarg! 
You get no choice. Good morning, Commander Shea. It is my honor to be your trading spoon today. I don't know what's up with the the graphics. I think it's um, zoomed in because it's such an old game. It's like like it used to, like 1080p is like too much for it. So please say something, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Are you waiting for another spoon? <laughs> what's up with the spoon? Send in a replacement. But I have to let you know I requested this mission specifically. <laughs> I was on a waiting list for months. Uh, <laughs> even though you've been very hard on us spoons in the past, <laughs> even cruel, I, I just wanted you to know that working with you has been my lifelong dream. <laughs> the spoon, oh, man. No, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> just shut up now. <laughs> the spoon. <laughs> Seriously, you should eat. Many important missions today. Okay. Shutting up. <laughs> the spoon is stupid, like... Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> wow. The spoon has so much dialogue. It's awesome. Yes. You won't be sorry, Commander. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to click on the ball. This bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. <laughs> Once more into the okay. milky breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Wow, that's an annoying spoon. <laughs> uh, Commander, aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me mom, sweetie. I wish you called me captain, computer. Okay, captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Second, there's a runway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet, uh, Captain? Bunny. Oh, I love the spoon so much. He's probably got the best dialogue in the game. <laughs> we need to help the avalanche. We need to catch the runaway train. We have to defend the friendship circle. We better suit up and investigate the foreign body. We need to help those avalanche victims. I knew you'd want to help them, sweetie. Flying a course for Planet Galactica. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an... Ice cream avalanche! Yay! They don't look very sad. <laughs> That's not worse. Help. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay! The spoon? Here. Take this spoon and dig yourselves out. We don't know how to use it. Show us, brave hero! Yeah. Uh, yes, eat the ice cream. Remember, chew your food 32 times. Yay! Yay! What a brilliant idea! Look at him! Go! Oh, wow. <laughs> That'd be sick, man. nutrition paste for you today mac and cheese <sighs> ready for your next exciting space mission honey 
We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Better suit up and investigate. What is pick thing. random? Oh, I don't like you going out there. So let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. What's the safety suit look like, I wonder? Looks unusable. Okay, I'm outside the ship. The foreign body must be very close by. Okay, this doesn't look like playtime. Could be wrong. I found the object. It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. Ah! Get off of me! Get <laughs> off! Wow. <laughs> You're going to love this dinner pill. Tuna casserole. Sorry, I burned it a little. Dinner pill. Nice. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? <clears throat> Fanning avalanche, I guess. Let's uh, catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. <laughs> Seems so preventable. Only we can wake up the bridge man. Wake up, bridge man. We're saved. He lowered the bridge. What an amazing idea! Brilliant and resourceful. Don't forget to touch it without being, you know, all braggy about it. Thank you, brave hero. We should celebrate. Don't worry, it's not a kid's game, it's make sense later. <laughs> but it does seem like a bit like a kid's game right now. does it make we'll skip this because we already saw it but i do enjoy the spoons dialogue <laughs> your saliva has a 0 0.001 ph imbalance today may i suggest more whole grain nutrient paste imagine that a spoon that tells you about your nutrition okay so we've done the avalanche we've done the fake train wreck we have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. Yeah, it did look the same. I'm pretty sure they're all the same. They just call them different names. I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew.
Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Yes. Yeah, I knew it would be something lame. Space meat in a blanket. I think they mean sausage roll. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Oh, I gotta get out of this routine. Okay, back to cattle dungeon, fake train wreck, battening avalanche. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay, watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. So now we're going to look around for other things. Aww. Can't go up. Dang. Is it just the same thing? Open up. But this time, take it easy. You're going to love this dinner pill. Fried chicken, kind of. Fried chicken, kind of. Mission dinner. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. Okay, so I think one of these you get a pick. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting a course for Planet Galactica. You're just going to go until you find the one that something weird happens. There was another ice cream avalanche? Yay! Weird. Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Okay, so... It looks like maybe we use this. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh look, it's another Grab and Gary robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. <laughs> nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to them. Remember, chew your food 32 times. Good thing we can skip though. <laughs> And that's the story of how you got here. Hey, were you even listening to me? I've got a feeling this is going to be a great day. Chocolate rocket? Sure. Mm, that bike was yummy. That bike was yummy. Go on next, sweetie. So we're gonna go jump off a cliff then do this again. <clears throat> Fake train wreck, please. Okay, we can skip through. Wake up, bridge man! Back to sleep, bridge man. Let's see what happens. That's not right. Yeah. 
having fun? Huh? Who are you? When you tire of child's play, when you're ready for real danger, come see me. But... Tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But... No one. Hey! Wait! What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. I have a particular computer. <laughs> this might be the future of humankind, right? Fake snoring. So we leave. Weird. No missions. I can do whatever. Okay. So she says this? it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Like we have those. Okay, let's have a look around. There's a vent. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. It works. Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? Busted. Okay, let's go and have a look around. Okay, so we can't go on the vent. Let's try. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of it? Okay. So we can't go that way. So there must be a way to like block the computer from seeing that he's up. So he'll just say mission's cancelled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Why do computers need sleep? Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. Can't sleep. On a mission. Okay. So, we can feel you a few things. Can't go out the door. Can we go this way? No, we can't. Okay, I don't see anything obvious, so it must be an item that we have to use. Come on, grabbing Gary. Be more fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> he can grab stuff. Maybe we put him in the event and he grabs something. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. I don't think that needs any air. I don't think that will help inflate it. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Okay. So there is a door, but then we probably can't get out it. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. Okay, so Maybe if we put sleep. the inflatable oh, rat in the bed. Help inflate it. Oh, if we use that on there. This air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa, it looks like a blow up doll of me. Creepy. So if we put the blow up doll into the bed. Hopefully this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Okay. 
So now that that's done, can we go down here? Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Nice. Man, computers are stupid. Oh, there we go. We got through. Whoa. How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Can we go and explore? Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. I go. apologize. It's just that I build them myself. Whoops. Oh, I think I meant to go down through the, the left side so that I can put the controller in. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. Now well, we got one. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? We shall be there in no time. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav start in five, four, three, two, one. This 
Let's go have a look around. Negative. This door is locked. Okay. We go back to the wolf. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <gasps> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Mm. Go on, lower the shields. How do I lower the shields? Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the top. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine. Sounds pretty dodgy to me. And ours. You mean I'm pretty sure he's stealing stuff off the ship. You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Interesting. He's probably getting us to commit crimes for him. He's got security cameras everywhere. Only for your protection. Hmm. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Excellent choice, young sir. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Make it so. By the arms, we have arrived. Okie dokie. This is definitely being interesting. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Okay, so we just do the same thing. Wait for it. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo hold. Don't wait forever, though. Great work. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Just push the button. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. 
You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. Mm. This is a waste of time. <clears throat> there is no need for this. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Mm. Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. Ugh. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, so brave. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Hmm. Ah. Why does ship notice him if he goes down there? No. No. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal. This time from Prima Doom. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom again? How are we going to take down the shields? So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Hmm? Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you... underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Hmm? Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good... instincts for the job. Or oh, stupid. <laughs> I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Okay, so we do the same thing. Wait, young cub. It is not time to deploy the rescue system yet. Merrick. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. Mm, sounds bad. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the over mother. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the space weaver and hope for the best. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. Okay, so we go there. And go to the new star system first. 
Then we're going to take down the shields. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom. Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. <laughs> Might I suggest somewhere safer? Like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile system? No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, Master, but my programming won't allow it. All right. Let's try Puppy Planetoid. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. Tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice. But what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Hmm. Okay, so we got a new area. Yes, my love. Were you aware that the universe was at war? Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Computer, we need to get to Prima Doom immediately. Absolutely not. They call it Prima Doom for a reason. Why not have some fun in the smile system instead? So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could knit you some new friends. <laughs> so, you've never seen a strange wolf around? Son, I can't keep track of all your yarn pals. Oh, are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend? Well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Our home, Laruna, was dying, <coughs> so we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place, and it has to be perfect for my baby. Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you're so funny. <laughs> He's not joking. Okay, let's go here. This must be the boom arm or the shield. Oh, I got three doors. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion or containment facility. Oh yeah, that's a place we needed to go. Hang on! Hey, my... my head. 
What's wrong? My head is... smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics, duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. Funny. Caution, entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Thank you. Goodbye. No helmet? Where's my helmet? That's just great. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. Well, that's interesting. So his head's the wrong size. Is there anything that would make his head bigger? This is Merrick's defibrillator. Inhibitor. Right. And I need to put it on the confusion ball. Fusion orb. <laughs> Wait. Are you doing this on purpose? Yes. <laughs> 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 I don't need any more inhibiting. I don't want to use up all the air now. I'm Gary is programmed not to grab his master. It's what I should really use this on food, not myself. As you command, sir. But I'm up for anything. <laughs> the spoon, man. <laughs> the spoon's my favorite character so far. Entering an area of strong I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a okay. So we can't go I'm through here closer to that fusion orb without because we need the helmet. My brain is not the kind of teleporter activate. Not responsible for lost items, motion sickness, or mutations. <laughs> hey, my head's back to normal size. That's because you fall. Okay, let's go to the next one. Teleporter activate. Yes. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. Please. Oh, am I about to find an item here for a helmet? Jars. My old teeth? Hair? I made a hexipal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remains? I wish she'd get rid of these. My paper mache is so much better than that now. I think that's supposed to be a space urchin, or else that's my old gum pile that I used to keep under my bed. Gross. I never want to see another train as long as I live. I gave up making art years ago, and if no one's around to see, I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope she washed that thing. How did I manage to win second place that time? Uh, second place, he's the only person. Ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah. My first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Well, interesting. So we got a helmet. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Okay, so this is where he sleeps. Can we go this way? Ah, okay, that's the door there. Okay, let's go to the fusion core. We can do that part now. I 
think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a ripoff. Okay, put on the helmet. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. And it's sealed shut. I think she had it bronzed. I couldn't even wear it as a glove if I wanted to. So why is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now? My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. Uh his head is almost small My head enough. Is almost small enough. Does that mean we have to go through the teleporter a few more times? Teleporter. Active. <gasps> No malfunction, no malfunction. There you are. No malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Okay, let's see if every time we go there, does the head get smaller? There you are. It does. Okay. So now his head's small enough to fit in. I think this machine is just never going to give me a helmet. What a ripoff. My head is almost small enough to fit no. in this helmet. I was going to say, his head does look Teleport. smaller than usual. No malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Okay. Come again. Try again. What do you guys think? Is his head smaller? Or is it just the same? There you are. I think it's the same. My head is almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. Nah, same. Okay. I thought maybe the amount of times you go through it, he gets smaller and smaller. Thanks for traveling with us. Let's try this one. Activate. Oh, this is the best part of my day. See you. Ah, interesting. His heat shrinks here too. Warning. Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the oh, next wait. Time it happens to one of your toys, Shay. Your father is not going teleporter. Activate. I've got an idea. Hang on. So it doesn't matter what teleport you use, you get a smaller head, right? Goodbye. So if we go through this teleporter. Hey, sorry, I can't let you through until we make a return trip with me first to restore your head. Interesting. Okay, so we've got to use this teleporter, and teleporter. then. Activate. Don't use a teleporter to go back, no and his head will be small enough. So oh, we're gonna find, great. we're gonna find a way through this room where he doesn't need to teleport. But we're gonna look around the room first because there might be something important. Oh, these are the stages he has to do, I think. Oh no, don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail for life, young man. Life! Your passengers are still in grief counseling. Please leave before they see you. Still in grief counseling. Okay, so if we go this way. Airlock ahead. Warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extra vehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. <coughs> Okay. No, this is just the catwalk. Open up. But this time. Yeah, same old, same old. Woo! Ah. No, still can't jump. Nothing we can use to get out of here? No. If 
If it weren't for this stupid air hose, I could really have some fun up here. Ah, he said, if it wasn't for the air hose, I could really have fun. What could we use to destroy the air hose? Not too sure. Okay. Can we use the trash chute? You crawl into something once when you're two years old and they lock it forever. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and they lock it forever. We can't go through the train port. Man, he is just dying to grab something. Nah, Gary doesn't want to grab that. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there. Or anywhere. Okay. I can't see anywhere. What are you guys... You guys are still there? What do you think? Teleporter, activate. I, I think we're gonna find a way through here, but I'm not sure how. The catwalk only goes to the catwalk. Oh, there is. I can walk this way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is the ice cream one, is it? Oh, this is the fake ship. Fake controls. What a surprise. Hey, missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. Hey, I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Is that what you came down here for? To point fingers? <laughs> hey, can we run the attack mission protocol? Didn't you hear me? I'm in pain! <laughs> Perfect. You can use it in your acting. Leave me alone! Hey, maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah. I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. We got something new. You're welcome. Well, I gotta go. Oh, wait. Maybe we need to do the attack protocol to go back. Hey, feeling better? Yeah. Now can we run the attack mission protocol? Sure, buddy. I owe you one. Oh. 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 I'm gonna look around. I can't see anything. So what Head is controls. this? Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. Hey, wake up. There? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their home. <laughs> no, I just... But this might get us back to where we need to go. No? Oh no, it just goes out. It was worth a try. Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. And this is the ice cream one. Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the avalanche mission protocol. Hey, we're supposed to be on break. Yes, I wanted to run it and practice my skills. Uh, but we didn't get any like. Yes, sorry, I just want to practice my. Okay, let's have a look around. Hey, check this out. Why not check out 
Wow, so that's a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. Okay, so we're gonna do the usual thing. Can we use it on them? Want this crochet hook? Careful where you point that thing. It's gonna say, isn't it like death to them? Nah, Gary won't pull them out. He's unsympathetic to their plight. <laughs> He's unsympathetic. Okay, we'll get out of there. Okay, anything else here? Oh, we got out. Nice. So now we should have our heads small enough that we can go into that place and do the shield thing. Teleporter, activate. This way. Here we go. Yep. I think that's all my head can take. You need to make them. Okay, cool. So now we can um put on the helmet. A little snug, but I think it will work. I'm not sure how long I can stand. Caution. Entering. Okay, finally, we're in. Jeez, that took ages. That fusion orb powers the ship's shields, which is critical because we get attacked by enemy spaceships constantly. Easy does it. There, fusion orb inhibited. Not quite. We won't activate the Omicron inhibitor until we're ready to take the shields down. And when will we be ready? Just as soon as you get control of those boom arms and navigate the ship to Prima Doom. Check. Cool. So that part's done. Now we just need to do the boom arm thing. Teleporter, activate. May I? Oh, this is the best part of my day. Ah, uh, I forgot to take off the helmet. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Head normalization ex Yes, he looks pretty normal now, right? Teleporter, activate. Yeah. Okay, so I think we can go out to the other place now. So now we're going to work out how to do the boom arm. Um, so the boom arm should be outside, right? So maybe we need, need to do go to the catwalk. What's in here? Oh, that's right. What happens if we use the rebel thing on him? Need some help knitting? I have a crochet hook. Keep that thing away from me. One error in this weave, and we could be heading who knows where. What happens if we use it on this? Hmm. I wonder if I could use this crochet hook on the Space Weaver's nav scarf to make it match the pattern on this star chart. That's a lot of buzzwords, but it just might work. Hmm, that's a clue. Because we're also going to find a way to that that system as well. So. Can we go down? We can. So if we have a look this at this. For Prima Doom. Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet. Okay, so if we do like this. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make alterations in the NASCAR. Next time the space weaver is doing his countdown, I should try it. Okay. So what we need to do. Is talk to him. Where shall we go today, Watson? Get him to close the cluster. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. There's already a stitch there. I don't think anyone would mind this. Spin the left with ah. velocity. Slight alteration here. Deploying nav Just a quick fix. That's why it's such a long countdown. Okay. I have no idea where we're going though. Nowhere. Oh my. I 
I seem to have made an error in my This is the star view. chart for Prima Dune. Not sure. Okay, so we need to so remember the star chart. This is the star chart for Prima Dune. So it's three along the middle, two at the top, and one at the bottom. So we'll tell him again. Where shall we go today, wise commander? All right. Preparing decryption mechanism. So we go down here. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake this is the star chart for Prima Dune. I think that's the wrong stitch already. This is the star chart for Prima Dune. Yeah, this it's been the wrong one. Make it so. And where shall we go? Yeah, let's go back to Cozy Cluster. Let's see what the stitch is. Okay, I think that will work. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do that. Thrusters this is the star chart for Prima Doom. Hmm. I wonder if I can knit with this. Deploying nav scarf in five. Oh, here, here, and here. here. Three, two, <coughs> one. Not wrong. Oh my! I, I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not sure how where shall we go today, wise commander. Okay, so we tried cozy and we tried puppy. Uh Maybe the smile, the smile system. system Preparing decryption mechanism. Let's try this one. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake this is the star chart for Prima Dune. Weave thrusters at this No, I don't think this one will work Spin either, because it's like only got one stitch monster. at the bottom. This one's got stitches. Looks like the space we have encoded the star chart. Four. Engage. Okay. No need. Where shall we go today, wise commander? So, I think the closest one was the the smile system. Maybe the smile system. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp. No, no, it's the small system that's no good. And where shall we go today, wise commander? Okay, so the puppy planetary system would be Oh, I thought I said puppy. Engage. By the Let's try again. Alright, let's try the puppy right. planetary. Okay, so let's look at this. Yeah, see the one on the left is wrong, I think. And the one on the bottom right is wrong as well, so it's not puppy planetary. Um, so it's not puppy planetoid, it's not small so it must be cozy. Engage. Oh, damn it. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Fine. Preparing decryption mechanism. Okay, let's try this again. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Okay, so this we have to do one star in the middle there, the one on the end. Yeah. So here, here, and here, right? Deploying nav scarf in five. This is the star chart for Prima D. That looks pretty good. Let's see what happens. It's working. Wait, no. This is not the destination I indicated. I'm so sorry, Ambassador. I will correct this right. What's that? I seem to be out of yarn. Humiliation! 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 Whoops. Wow. He took that really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Okay, so we've done the Prima Doom, we've done the shields, all we need to do is the arm now. 
let's just go talk to the wolf again because I don't know how to do the arm. Merrick. The manual boom controls are beyond the reach of my air tether. You're going to need to extend your range somehow. I've installed the fusion orb inhibitor. Great. Now when we push this button, the ship's shields will come down. But before we do that, we need to get manual control of those cargo boom arms. So, we're in Prima Doom now, right? Yes, good work. I've located the creatures in distress. But before we do that, we need to get manual control of those cargo boom arms. Quickly! We can't remain in this dangerous system for long. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. Okay, so we're going to find a way to deal with the tether. Merrick. 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 The manual boom controls are beyond the reach of my... I'd better get back to the mission. Okay, so we're going to go on the catwalk. Was it this way? No, I think it was through a teleporter, wasn't it? No, that's the place to eat. Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is his room. Okay. <laughs> so I think it might be through one of the teleports. The first one is his baby collection of his baby room collection. The second one is the shield, so this must be the teleporter. Okay. So... This must be it. Yeah, this is it. So we're gonna find a way to separate the that tether. That would be a really slow way to cut it. If only I had a slice and Sally instead of a grab and Gary, I could be free. No offense, Gary. Hey, that's a great idea, but I think it would attach right to my helmet. This tiny suit wouldn't be much use there, or anywhere. That would be a really slow way to cut it. Okay, so I gotta find a way to cut my tether. Woo! Ah. Hmm, I'm just trying to think. Maybe the kitchen was the place to go because the kitchen might have a knife, right? What do you guys think? Any ideas? We know where the um we know where this is now, it's through the teleporter. Now we just need to find the kitchen. The uh, kitchen should be this way, I think. Hello. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Did he really just do that? <laughs> oh well, that does what we need. Okay, now we go back. Well, that was like smart of me. I didn't expect. Okay. 
Teleporter activated. There ain't no time. Okay. Guess I'll just cut this air hose. What could possibly go wrong? Mm. Oh boy. No air <gasps> suffocating in space. Totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. Damn it. <laughs> But that's what the compressed air will be for. Dang it. So the question is, how do I get the air onto there before I separate the hose? Let's see if this fits. Come on. <sighs> that's the stuff. Okay, now we cut the hose. Here we go! And now we can go up. Oh no. Gotta get further out. Come on, legs. Ugh. I wish I had some sort of propulsion. Propulsion? Do we have anything for propulsion? We've used this already. I don't know if grabbing Gary will be useful. Hmm. Don't know. I don't think I have anything here that's useful for propulsion. We've already used the um, air tank, so he can cut the hose with the knife. Use the air tank to breathe. What would propel him forward, do you think? None of these tools, so there must be something else with Noxine. But I've pretty much searched everywhere, except for the kitchen. You crawl into something once when you're two years old and they lock it uh, forever. Nothing in the train yard because we he got banned from that. This is the the person that needs saving. What did we get from there? Like the 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 crochet thing ice cream this hello it's a whipped cream gun and it's mine perfect I didn't see that there before. Okay. So we need to use this. I'm free in space. Okay. Now what? We need to find the boom arm, right? I can't see any arm. Woo! Must be something. Hello. 
space. Over here. Well, that looks like an antenna. Nothing there. Oh, there you go, manual boom arm. <clears throat> you said to wander around a bit more. Maybe if I could get this hatch open, no good. Stupid fat hands. Uh, okay, now we're gonna get the hatch open. It won't work. I need something really thin to pry it open. Well. Well, at least now I finally know what your problem is with me. I'm too fat. <laughs> you know what? You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I love the spoon. I can tell Gary wants to get in there, but his grabbing claws are too thick to pry open that hatch. Let me try to... Oh, hey. Uh oh, no, not, not the face or the neck or the body. I'm free. Free to cleave the infinite void of space itself. Phew. <laughs> That's a relief for a lot of reasons. I love the spoon so much. Those must be the manual controls for the boom arms. Those must be the manual control. Ugh. Rats. Can't reach. My god, I don't need so many tools. Even if I could reach the controls with that, I don't think I could grab and turn them. I think, I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's hero time. Don't be scared. Well, go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah, I have the button. Engage. Good boy. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit tight here, and I'll push the button again when it's go time, okay? Ah, well done. Goodbye, Gary. You were the best present ever. Wow, we're actually done. Um, but now I think we go here. We go back to the fox. Quickly, young cub, over here. We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. You may now use the fusion orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields. And your remote control for that children's toy. Yes. What? Keep trying. Man, I'm sucking at this. That's okay. Try again. Wow. Rats. Keep trying. I swear it's delayed. It's not me. See? Dang. That's okay. Try. Wow. Rats. This Keep is terrible. Trying. Well done. Now the next one. Don't worry. She won't detect our moving the ship. 
I've covered our tracks very well. Dang. That's okay. I notice that you have to do it like half a second early. Your mind. Yeah, there you go. Half a second early, it's like delay. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No, I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I, I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know, but it's important. There is no need for this. We've saved more than enough. It's just one creature. It's not worth the risk, boy. Not if I miss it. It is moving pretty fast now, though. Got her. Huh? What's that? I... I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers! Attention! Ship is under attack! I can't see her anymore. Forget about the creature. We need to move you to a safe location. Come with me. Ah! ah. Run, Shay! Get somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. No! Shay! There you are. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? It's not safe. Shay! We haven't even played the girl character yet. Black hole or eyeball? Interesting. Yeah, because these two characters are meant to intertwine somehow. So now that you've seen the boys' story, you'll see that this one's completely different. It's time to face the cupcakes. Valoria Descender Tartine. There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! Mm. Come on, Pokey! Get a move on, sis! Okay, shut up, you guys! She's coming! Hello? Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? 
Come on, cake first. All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> ceremonial knife? Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Don't touch the red one. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. That explains a lot. <laughs> I was gonna say she's a bit hyper. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. That's a scary thought, isn't it? I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late! If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell! <laughs> What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Mm. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Mm. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. No, no, where? Mm. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Nope. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! I don't see anything else collectible where in the scene. I? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> Do you know where Mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help with this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brommel. 
Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Mm. Did he hide it on his Grandpa person? Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> okay, so he did hide it. So, if he hid it, where would he hide it? No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown? Mm. Did I leave it in the kitchen? If there was a day to splurge... Maybe we give him today. a cupcake. <clears throat> For me? Split it with you? Deal. <laughs> On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, there we go. Definitely somewhere outside. That's not really good. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Majestic to behold, awe-inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast! Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you! This can't be right. No, it's not right! <gasps> For one thing, I should be in the center. Ha! <laughs> I make myself the center of any room I'm in. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Center of math, maybe. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Mm. So they just sell, they just put their girls up to be eaten so the beast leaves them alone. Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not going to work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! Mm. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Just wanted to say good luck. I feel like I needed another item. Sorry. Come here, little birdie. I have a treat for you. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, 
I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. I remember this is timed. So I think I may have failed. <laughs> Okay, so the girl with the drumstick will trade. So next time we have to come through, we have to try and work out how to get the drumstick. Drum secure. Uh, no, oh. what on the end? Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Yeah. How about something bubbly to wash it down? Actually, I could use a swig of something. Okay, I'll see what I can get you. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. Now that. Okay, bubbly. So we gotta get out of here. Uh, are you kidding? I've been starving myself for weeks for this. Hey, can I have a drink of that water? Hmm. Trade you for that sweet corset you've got on. Never can be too thin. This horrible thing. You got a deal. Ooh, okay. Relief. So now we trade the so bubbles much. to the other girl. Oh, I'm sorry, but this thing's just too big for me. Trade back. Oh, that poor girl. Oh no! That should have been me. Hmm. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Need a towel? Nope. How about the How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow? Never mind. Yeah, I don't think we've got what we need. Good luck. Bye. Can I borrow that bottle one more time? <laughs> she gone. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? How about some? Oh, we got it. We did get the down. water. Well, thanks. Don't mind if I. Ah! Look at me. I'm soaked. Oh, God. Sinking. Quick, quick. Help me put myself back together. Uh... Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? What do you got? A towel? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Okay, we're doing good. Maybe. Oh, uh, how long have you been standing there? <clears throat> so she's done. Are you part vulture or something? How can you think about food at a here, birdie? Oh, come on! So close. Thanks. I don't want to stab that bird. I still need her to get out of here. Oh yeah, and also, I'd lose my knife. Gotcha. That's it. Oh, I was getting a bit close wins. for comfort, man. Come on, 
Oh, uh, maybe I gotta use the knife. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! She's doomed us all! Mug Chopper's fury will soon rain down upon our village! This is now past the demo that I played many years ago. <laughs> she looks so cool for a moment dear birds do for fun around here uh wow you sink into the clouds so if you stand still you sink you birds want to help me kill mob chathra looks like i should go that direction for more clouds Are you a friend of jesse's well Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds. Whoops. I hope I wasn't meant to do something before I went there. Oh no. Okay, you get saved this if you fall looks through. Like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that way. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe, we admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chit. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. <laughs> Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float away. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Mm. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. 
Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chakra. Smell mound. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Hmm. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? I need to get to Mog Chakra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chakra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Mm. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. They're not that giving us any info useful information. A philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Greener yeah. Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. <clears throat> and it wouldn't be the first time that oak fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks cause leaks how are we floating on these clouds anyway volume no son try again gee um okay uh circumference area yeah 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 it's all about surface area pounds per square inch any idea where I can find Jesse's egg if Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Man, the people in this the in this particular story are messed up. Or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chip. Sorry, Pop. Okay, so we're gonna find the egg so far. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fether. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fether. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. Fether. <laughs> What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters. But the thought behind it. Huh. Weird. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. 
He's worried people will think his name is Gas. Hmm? I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Uh, last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Mm. Head out of the clouds. Do we have stuff to give him an offering? No, we have nothing. Can we go this way? Nope. Want to give me a lift? No? What do you birds do for fun around here? Okay, nothing that way. Down isn't an option. Oh, here we go. The ladder here. Wow, creepy. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. Mmm, offering. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Kind of shabby looking for a Maiden's Feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. <clears throat> Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. Ah, oh, so, so she didn't get picked. That's why I like it. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Hmm. Wonder why I didn't pick her though. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... What? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. You didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Hmm. Well, whatever she did to not get picked is a good thing, right? Oh, someone here. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> mm. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Oh, finally, someone who actually makes sense hey, up here. Can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? 
the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Hmm? Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. <laughs> it's a midlife crisis thing. I don't thing. think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Wow. <laughs> I didn't even know we did start on that one. Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about them. Wait, I know this. Area? Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? <laughs> Only when I'm feeling sad. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. <laughs> well, I'll let you get back to your work. <laughs> totally, no, he totally work. misunderstood. Okay, so maybe we can put on the shoes. And then maybe we can walk on clouds, right? So now we can go talk to the birds. Wanna give me a lift? No? Hmm, maybe this sign is only for birds. Well, yeah, you can still fall through the cloud. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. No. Hi, birdie. Yep, she's not sinking now. You birds want to help me kill Mogchathra? Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Good birdie. Okay. So the only place to go now is to the right. But I think we've had time. We've got the two hours. So I think we did um, Shay's, which is the guy that we played. We did his story all the way through, and now we're doing hers. Those don't look like Jessie's. Better leave them alone. Hi, I'm you Mac. friend of Jessie's? Mm -hmm. Those don't name? look like Jessie's. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Oh. Another person. Hey, what's up? Uh, oh. Nothing. Oops. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? <laughs> Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Mm. Oh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. We got a ladder. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? 
We used to have a cool feather baiter that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather baiter? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. <laughs> hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile girls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> I can see an egg in a nest behind us. I wonder if that's the egg we're looking for. That is one heavy looking egg. Oh no, they said the gold ones were substitutes, right? Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Good birdie. Can we go this way? No. Can't get up there. We use the ladder. Can't yeah. get up there. Here we go. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. <clears throat> Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Okay, so we can use the ladder to climb onto things. Hey bird, you're a jerk. But that one, not that one, because the bird knocks it down. So we have to think of another way. But anyway, that's two hours. Um, so we're going to call it here. We're going to think about other places we could use the ladder, I guess. Oh, what's this? Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Can we cut the bird? I can't just stab any bird that gets in my way, at least not from down here. Yeah, but then you climb and the bird. Yeah, you can skip that, we know that doesn't work. Okay. Hi. Hi there. At least she replied. Uh, maybe if we give the knife to this lady. Say, that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, I know they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're going to be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. Interesting, really big shoes. So we now have two offerings, I guess, but that's pretty rude to give away someone's ladder.
Was there someone that needed shoes? Oh, there was that Guth guy they said he didn't have shoes or something. Offering into the bowls of enlightening. Can we walk this way now? No. Sorry, I cannot handle the donations directly. Please use the bowls. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Oh. Actually, I thought he said he needed three offerings. But at least we progress to the next part of the game, right? Hi. Oh, my. A fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Can you help me kill Mog Chathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Everyone would leave? What? No! <laughs> That's a great response. I could go kill Mog Chathra? What an offensive idea. No! Mariloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no, people would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment impossible. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Why do you have laces and a big bow in your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. <laughs> Any idea where Jesse's egg went? It's a bit of a nutcase. Uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Mariloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. Ah, it knocked him out. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have this. Can I take my offering on. back? I can. <laughs> nice. So we got an egg and we got shoes. So can we go to the bird? And give it a second egg. I don't pay, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Okay, can we go up? Can we give her the I don't egg? Think that will fool her. She is a mom, after all. Oh, okay, now the letter. Okay, interesting. Can we go Sorry, past her? Just passing through. Kind of. But then she went back down. It's extendable. 
Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Okay, so... We can go talk to the sign. Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. Okay, we can go this way. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Okay, so we've got to be careful not to walk on the yellow bits. Nope. I heard someone talking down there. Oh, we're up the top now. Interesting. Oh, we got the egg. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear, it's on the branch. Can you unhook it, please? Unhook my underwear? Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here! <laughs> help me! We need the GCC. Hey. Great. Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Wait it. <laughs> and I thought I was clumsy. Okay, well that's a puzzle for next time, I guess. So the way this story works is there's two people and they're Destinies are intertwined, but we have no idea how. One's a space guy, he's in space, and then this girl's on a planet fighting a big monster that want, that eats people. So it's like, I have no idea how these two heroes would have their um, destinies intertwined. It seems rather weird. But anyway, that was two hours or more, two hours and 20 minutes. Or almost but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this game and if you want to see more just leave a like and subscribe if you want but um let me know in the comments if you do want to see more of the story we're kind of halfway there i think well after we finish her story then we'll obviously see a story of them combined maybe but i'm not sure because i've never played this game before but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing a story of, of strangeness um, a few puzzles. Some of them are quite... Okay, I'm just going to go somewhere so that he doesn't, like... If I go... I was up. We're going to go out of this scene because he keeps talking. Okay, there we go. So... Yeah, if you guys want to see more, just let me know in the comments or I'll probably play more just to see the ending. I might just record it though for you to see. And um, yeah, but thanks for enjoying this game with me, looking at some of the puzzles. We weren't too many complex puzzles that we needed help on, so that was good. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next stream. Tomorrow I'll stream uh, the Ghostwire. So if you guys are into that story, I'll see you there. But anyway, everyone have a good night, good day, or a good morning, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. A spinning device. Mmm. Ah, 
it's got a cheese stone in the middle. Pretty fast that little device. Okay. So, oh, cool. We got a speed track. if it drops off something. Yeah, it's a big chew. That's kind of cool. I do like that. Okay, what's the next puzzle? Oh, we got rails. Hmm, interesting. We got rails. Okay, what's this one? Courage to fail. To, oh, to fall. Oh, okay, courage to fall. Uh, another fly fly one. What's this? this? Is an orb to open the end? Can we can we see the chest? Any visuals on the chest? No. And what have we got here? That looks like a gate that you can open. Well, this looks fun. I have no confidence that I'll get through those later beams unscathed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was quick. Ah. Uh, eh, go across. Through his weapon off the cliff. That's pretty rude. Oh, geez. oh look at that. Wow. That is gonna take me a long time to remember I've got that ability. Thank you. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? Well. Anything else down there that I need to see? Is there a treasure chest hidden in the corner there? 